it's it's like a frog in a pot of boiling water if you heat yeah. it slowly uh, then the realization doesn't happen and this insane fact of knowing that you know 6.7 lakh crore could have been saved by investing climate risk at fundamentally if we were to exist if we were not to go extinct by 2035 all the businesses that are present today will look very different i should target rather target the 20 top 20% defaulters first that every uh, in you know, dollar or rupee invested in nature actually yields a potential benefit of 8 to 9 times now this is like doubling it makes economic sense today to go for solar uh, if you have money sitting in ft no farmer would be interested in investing their time and money in uh, in participating in this in this value chain if there is no economically viable off tech market or we facilitated some sort of a digital gig economy that they still have jobs without having the need to migrate to city it is a yearly thing so i am looking at a yearly revenue of at least 50 lakhs net and that data which is coming from the scoot uh, from the from these electric vehicles is very very powerful it tells us that how people are moving in the city at what time of the day what is the speed pattern of the driving etc within 10 to 15% is currently where we can achieve the accuracy of sensor right in terms of pm 2.5 pm 10 you can achieve within somewhere 20 to 25% user interface will become so intuitive that the need to learn about it to use it will become very minimal while one could you know ask people to be conscious and take the clean solutions and so on we will only solve the problem when these solutions become economically viable Stay tuned for the season two of Understanding the Future podcast to know more about the future of work in the field of climate change and urban development.